Good morning. This is Larry Hayward. I'm the pastor at uh, Westminster Presbyterian Church. I'm sorry for our slight delay. We are still new at live streaming and doing our best. But anyway, um, over the past year, I've been reading Robert Caro's four volume biography of President Lyndon Johnson. I thought I might be able uh, to get a little more reading done the last couple of weeks than I have, but it's uh, I'm, I'm catching up. But a few weeks ago, I came across a story of a serious heart attack that LBJ had in 1955 when he was in the Senate. He was only 43 years old at the time. He was enormously ambitious with a tremendous will to live, if for no other reason than that he wanted to become president someday. But he was smoking up to 60 cigarettes a day. In the ambulance and at the hospital, he was told that he simply had to stop. And he took the advice to heart. Johnson tore the wrapper off a pack of cigarettes. He opened the pack, pulled one cigarette out halfway, set it on the nightstand next to his hospital bed, and it remained there for the remainder of his stay. When he was released and went home, he put a pack on the, night stable, on the night table next to his bed at home as well. And then he returned, when he returned to his ranch in Texas for about a six month recuperation, he kept an open pack of cigarettes on the nightstand the entire time he was there. The pack of cigarettes, all three packs remained untouched. When asked if he missed smoking, Johnson said, every minute of every day. But he did what he needed to do. He stopped. When we are going through a time of crisis, such as we are going through collectively and individually, each of us has the opportunity to make a change we need to make to find what was said of LBJ, the sweet uses of adversity. On the hope and on the trustful assumption that we will survive this adversity, there will be some things that we have gone without during this time that we might best not had back. And there will be some things that we have added to our lives during this period that we would best continue. Our effort may not have to be as earthy as an open cigarette pack on the nightstand next to our bed, but there will be changes that we can make that will render life after pandemic richer than life before. There will be a sweet use of adversity. After LBJ left the presidency, a broken and defeated man, he took up smoking again. No doubt one of the reasons that he died at age 63, young for an ex-president. Once we have put something down, we'd best not take it up again. Jesus said, knock and the door will be open to you. For everyone who knocks, the door will be open. In the days and weeks and perhaps even months ahead, I urge you to knock and then to walk through the doors that are open. Let us pray. God of families and individuals, of saints and citizens, be with us this day that we might do what we need to do and refrain from what we need to refrain. Doing your will and finding as much joy as the day can bring. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining.